Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, what we're going to do is, you guessed it, we're going to put new ends on my bolo tie. Stick around and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay guys, this is what we got. We've got my new bolo tie here, but it, it had an end missing, which I knew that when I bought it because I seen the pictures. So I bought me some new ends to go with it at the same time. They came in at the same time. Or no, these came in a day early. They were supposed to come in at the same time, but the, the, uh, the ends, or tie clips, some people call them, but uh these came in a day early so there's what these are i don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up they're pretty now <clears throat> what a lot of guys will do on this one i don't know if you can see that or not down inside there these are glued uh these kind here are and these ones you can see these little deals here what they do is they bend in to the leather this is leather and they hold them on there I've never glued them you can it's no problem but like this this one has to be glued so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to take my lighter here <clears throat> by the way this is a very nice tie pretty okay so my sister's wedding is in two days I'm not sure what that says on there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this with my lighter I've seen guys use little the little torches um, bring in here a little bit but my torch is out of fluid I got to get some new fluid so what I'm I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna heat this up looks like it's hot glue uh, I'm just gonna try to heat this up get that glue heated up in there there it comes just like that uh, those will clean off there it is there's the glue okay now I'm not going to glue these uh, <clears throat> I think they'll be good enough without the glue if I just push them in okay so I'm just going to push this in like that and I'm just going to start I'm going to start on one side and I'm going to push one in Just like that. Then I'm going to go to the opposite side. So how many's on here? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to kind of go over to the opposite side of it the best I can. And I'm going to push this one in. Just like that. It's already holding it real well. Now I'm going to go back to this side, <clears throat> just kind of like tightening, whoops, a lug nut on a car. I can push that one down in too far, but that's okay. Just like that. That one did go in just a little bit too far, so I'm going to... And to take these these kind off, you just do the same thing, just pull that out. Pull that out a little bit. Push them in. And you just kind of keep tweaking until you get it. Get them all pretty much the same and centered.
and that's what I'm going to do with the other one. I'm just going to keep going around and keep tweaking them. until it's pretty much centered. And it's getting close there. And that, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. But I'm just gonna keep tweaking these and I'm gonna do the, the same on this one. Now, like I said, I'm not going to glue them. I have before. I've had these before and I have glued them. Uh, but I got two more. If I lose one, it's no big deal. These things are cheap. Now, they can be very expensive. If you get real silver or real gold, they are very expensive. So, <clears throat> that's, what, that's what they're going to look like right there. So, let me go ahead and get that done and get these tweaked right so they look a little better and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done okay there's the old one as you can see I, I just wiped it off with my fingers a little bit and you clean that up real good it'll look like brand new but there's what they look like I do like them ends I seen a guy in a leather shop one time. He had he had a crimper that crimped these. Uh, he was uh, working on a bolo tie, and he just had a crimping tool, and it just crimped them perfect all the way around. So there it is. Now I'll back you out of here. And there's the bolo. There's my bolo tie. Like I said, I, I think it's very pretty. I didn't get very much for it. It's like 20 bucks, I think. And those will match. I do think those are a little design on there, just a little extra. There. Now, I'll put it on. Hopefully I won't screw with the mic too much. Got my mic on. This is in the back here. This is how it goes on. If you want to change the uh, the tie part itself, and then of course you know you have your button up shirt on, and there it is. There's my bolo tie. I think Monkey said something about today. She wants us to dress up and get her and take our pictures in front of the Christmas tree, which I think is a great idea should look nice sorry about the lighting in here but if I open that up I get a lot of lens flare <clears throat> because <clears throat> then it's too bright you can see what I'm talking about there behind me uh, it's a little bit too bright uh, so the kitchen is going to be done soon it won't be done before Christmas but after Christmas uh, payment has been made on it they came in took the measurements so they should be building the cabinets because they're custom built and um, now that light up here in the kitchen that light there it's okay for out there but in here all we've got is this little thing I think it's hot too and that's not really for lighting in the area it's just for you know over your table for like a dining light so what she wants me to do is get up in that attic and we're going to run pocket lights down through here. Uh, I don't know if she wants any over here or not. We'll see. And I know I'm going to put, oops, sorry. I'm going to put two, one on each side there above the sink for when she's washing dishes. And like I said, I'm going to definitely, uh, we talked about six or eight. We'll just have to see. Um, that involves me getting up in the attic. I hate getting up there. Um, so, anyway, so that should help out the lighting in here. And also, what we'd like to do is, we was wanting to put a skylight in here. Now, I'm not sure. 
uh, where we would put it possibly right here I think would be nice and then you know those those skylights are amazing we'll have to see about that but that would be perfect you know here it is it's uh, like two o'clock in the afternoon and um, it's uh it's dark in here like I said it's not so bad when I do open that up but if I'm sitting this way uh, it's too bright behind me but anyway uh, as you can see I haven't done this video yet but it's gonna be a hard video to make I mean it would be hard to eat three regular candy canes let alone that crap those things were awful if you guys seen that video check it out man I think I got an under uh, product reviews it wasn't that long ago so that's gonna be a hard video I've kind of been putting it off I haven't forgot though so <laughs> anyway guys that's how you put the ends on a bolo tie now you can just glue them but it's always still best if you if you take your time and just bend them over a little bit and, and they'll be fine like I say they'll they'll look fine I'll have a white shirt on so you know it should should come out okay it should look okay um, but yeah that's all you gotta do if it's glued in just heat it up with a lighter it'll pop right off and you can reuse the ends you can change them too so but after a while now I've never had a hat but I've noticed they got weak after a while these little tabs if you change them all the time uh, the, uh, the, they will get weak and I mean it's just a thin type of metal so they will break off after eventually I'm sure I, like I said I've never had it happen but you can get these real cheap you can get them brown black different colors and just get you a couple different ones but in order like to change these you know you'll have to take one of these off every time but uh so yeah i think i think it is very nice Let's see if i can get it to zoom in here yeah it looks pretty good uh so i'm happy with my purchases i've got a gift for monkey that's supposed to be coming in it was supposed to be in here the monday november 29th or 30th or something I got a hold of the um, shoot. What do you call it? the uh, the seller? Because it was on eBay, and this guy always we've been in constant contact. He always gets back with me immediately because I had seen that he did ship it. He printed the shipping label and shipped it the night I ordered that. The day I ordered that, <clears throat> and that's in Lexington, Kentucky, and. For some reason it's never left there and we cannot find it so he put in to you know a thing to check and see where it is to try to track it and find it turns out it's lost so he said if by today <clears throat> which is what the 11th if by today it wasn't in he would refund my money that's no problem he also said it was his last one he said man if if i had another one to send you i would overnight it to you you know at no extra cost it's not his fault he did ship it but he's going above and beyond to help me try to find this thing for her it, it just something cheap but still you know it's just irritating um, of course the post office and I seen an ad the other day last night I think it was on YouTube uh, one of those 15 second ads the forced ads and um, where it showed the the postal worker sent wiping off uh snow off of this table and setting the package down there nice and neat and they had a light one of their christmas lights blinking so she tightens it up and just walks on her merry way and this is after dark and like late at night and and uh and it says you know we here at the the post office you know we go above and about whatever you know i'm like are you kidding me really this guy can't even send me a package it don't even get out of his damn post office and it's lost come on when was the last time you seen a postal worker drop off a package united states united states post office drop off a package 
you know, after dark. I never have. I've never had it happen. I've ordered a lot, a lot of stuff. It's like I've even had it to where it said it was out for delivery and never came. I called the post office. Oh, they probably forgot to drop it off. And I got it the next day, and I'm like, what, what the hell? You know, well, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it said it was out for delivery. That means you scanned it. Oh, it was in the truck and all that. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You know, I mean, you can't even, when it's out for delivery, it can't even make it from the post office to the house, which is a mile away. Come on. And his post office, it never even left his damn post office. It got lost at the post office somehow. I don't know. I think I'll give it till Monday, see if they can find out anything, and then, and then I'll have him refund it. But it's not fair to him to have to do that when he, you know, done everything on his end, you know. He shipped it, they lost it, but it's not fair to him that he has to refund my money because they screwed up. It's crazy. So, anyway guys, the center section of that hutch down the wall there that's kind of out a little bit. Uh, that kind of thing bothers me. Anyway, guys, so that's how you do that. And I wish I had both of these. They're kind of cool. These ones are a little bit fancier, but um, so I don't know what that said on the back of this. On the back of this Bolo. Um, it is supposed to be vintage, but it's in very good shape. Let me turn my light on here again. Let's see. If we can see what it says. Uh, da, 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 da. Solid brass. Cool. Alright. So anyway guys. I like it. I think it's going to look nice on my outfit. Very cool. Very easy job. So enough chit chatting. And uh. Hopefully this helps somebody, or hope, hopefully you guys like the video. And I'm gonna say, uh, monkeys, she is done with her last patient. She's gonna stop the store, we're gonna have wings tonight, so I'm gonna make us some wings when she gets back. That's about it. I'm gonna get these candy canes soon, I promise. <laughs> I mean, you know, I got crickets there. I just eat crickets, it don't matter, man. Those things, I'm like, I really don't wanna do that. <laughs> Shea Bear, the myth of man legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.